Montreal is known for its festivals. It has at least a festival a week. Montreal has the most festivals of anywhere else in the world. It has over 100 festivals a year. It's basically a place we feel like we can never get bored because there's always something going on. Let's not forget about the festivals. We have festivals literally for everything. Anything that you want to experience here in terms of music, in terms of nightlife. Running the gamut of dance and music, comedy and performance, film and fun, Montreal's beloved festivals are an integral part of the city. But now the weather is turning colder the city puts on its winter coat there's no denying it this weather is depressing so as montrealers we find ways to have fun in the winter anyway l'hiver à montréal ce ne sont pas les journées qui raccourcissent mais les nuits qui s'allongent Hey everyone, I'm Gunnarola here today in Montreal at Igloo Fest, one of the wildest parties to happen during the winter. We've got music, games, food, drinks, and some incredible costumes. So let's find out what it's all about. Igloo Fest. Let's talk about that. Whoa, this place is crazy. I can tell you this festival is one of the amazing festivals I've ever seen in the world, especially when it comes to winter. Never in my life have I experienced DJing in minus 25 degrees. It's really cool how all these people just came, like all dressed up, ready to party in the snow. Oh my gosh, it was 20 times more than I expected. It was like totally crazy. As a Brazilian, I have no idea how Montreal people can have fun and dance in a minus 30 degrees with a snowstorm. This is a very unique festival in the sense that I don't know any other city that would allow a party to happen at minus 27. I mean, if it was minus 27 in England, there'd be like a state of emergency. People are bumping down there. I want to stay warm. It's freezing out. They don't even feel it at all. I'm convinced. Canadians are really, really, really cool people. It's just unbelievable that you have this many people outside. I'm about to go to Igloo Fest it's over there. Now, this is a lot more like my scene. We're going to top of the night with Igloo Fest. It's like Electronic music festival here at the old port, and it's supposed to be really good. Best way to warm up in the middle of winter: mold wine and dancing. All right, everyone, I'm here today with Nick Colnoyer, yep. the executive producer and co-founder of Igloo Fest. Yep. The vibe behind this is like bringing people outside, like making them enjoy the the goodness of winter, right? Yeah, or tame the winter. Tame the winter. Uh, because it is national sport in Quebec. People complain about the weather, so we, we decide to just give them a good reason to go out and do the party and enjoy themselves. So, what is the coldest igloo fest ever? Ever with the wind chill factor, it was about minus forty something like that. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. that's pretty cold. C'est les premières années, c'était de la programmation locale. Au départ, j'approchais des agents, puis c'est comme, euh, non, non. Les gens connaissent pas le concept, et les gens comprennent pas pourquoi de se faire programmer dans un festival où il peut faire jusqu'à moins 40. Actually, everybody else in the world is talking about this festival because you Canadians are the only really crazy people that party in the, in the winter. Nobody, nobody really does that. It's amazing. It's amazing to see the energy of the people. We bring international DJs from all over the world. There's a big portion which showcase the local talents that we have in Montreal from different kind of uh, electronic music. There's some activities. Uh, you can have some marshmallows. We got free marshmallows and now we're roasting them. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a Canadian festival when everyone's wearing scarves, hats, and eight layers. But we still have onesies. You can't have a festival without one. What is this? Hot fudge. Yes. You put it inside your... Uh, Some techniques for me to be able to just want to let you know this weekend also we're going to Igloo Fest and we're gonna have some friends over so we just want to let you know. Thumbs up, thumbs up, yeah! Let's get dressed for Igloo Fest. Maybe. This is a little bit too much. It's really not that cold today. Guys, what's the plan right now? <laughs> Yo, there's like a spontaneous little... <laughs> If you could give me one tip for surviving a glue fest, what would it be? If you want to get your feet hot, you have to dance like this. Like, put your knee up. Like this. That's a good tip. <laughs> so if you had to give everyone watching one tip to survive a glue fest, what would it be? Socks. Socks. Warm. Socks. Okay, can I see your socks here? No, no, you don't want to see those socks. What's your tip? How to survive this festival? Alcohol. Take a mold wine, a little Jägermeister, you heat up a bit, and then just enjoy, uh, yeah, the winter. One, two, three, go! Woo! Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah
It's too short. This is not fair. <laughs> it doesn't work for short people. Who's the Igloo Fest Jaeger shots? Always a good call. It's a glowing ice bottle of Jaeger. Holy shit. This is so cool. I'm absolutely living. It's your first Igloo Fest. What's your impression so far? Good drinks. Good drinks. <laughs> good music. Good, good music. music. You've been to Igloo Fest before? Yeah. How many times? Uh, like uh, 10. 10? I know. Uh, five. Hey, what's up? This is Bonobo here at Igloo Fest. Montreal is like one of those places that, that you always look forward to playing. It's one of the best festivals I've played in North America because of the, the vibe and the stage, the positivity from the people. I just saw people having a good time, but also trying to stay alive. It's like Coachella, but it's freezing. You've been to Igloo Fest before? Never! Your first time? My first time! What do you think? If you have never come here, come here! Come no! Here. Why should people come to Igloo Fest? Because it doesn't happen anywhere else in Canada. Yeah. It's the only place in Canada where you have a winter festival, man. The best place the best on earth. Place. Absolutely. The best place. C'est chargé d'émotions. Tout le monde est fébrile. C'est un moment extraordinaire. We got some Parisians here. Yeah. What do you think of the Montreal scene? It's like the best scene in the world. <laughs> what do you think, Caroline? Do you want a beer? <laughs> no, no. Where are you from? Uh, Colorado. Oh, okay. I love Colorado. Yeah. I love Montreal. It's génial. Votre pays est génial. Je suis venu à l'Igloo Fest parce que je savais que c'était vraiment génial. C'était une geek très émotionnelle. On a tous ressenti quelque chose de vraiment extraordinaire. Puis ça, on peut pas, on peut pas, ouais. on peut pas le cacher. Ouais, on peut pas le cacher. It was insane. It's been one of the best crowds I've played to. It's such an amazing crowd. You know, people really enjoy the music. The best thing about it is seeing the crowd reaction and seeing the kids then, you know, uh, jumping up and down and. Keeping them, keep them warm themselves, you know, pretty much. We just met a few fans out there and they had frost growing around their beards. We went full of water, full of snow. I can't move my head. <laughs> I also was very surprised to see the speakers completely covered in snow and they still produce sound, so it's all right, apparently. It's my 20 degrees outside and I know you can see it, but you're fucking naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always just so impressed with the arts and culture scene in Montreal. They really take control of the season and give people a reason to get out and celebrate. You have to go out and do things here. If you, if you just sit at home, you're going to miss so much. If it's winter where you are right now, I encourage you to get out there and make the most of the season. I love them so much. It's so cold out, and yet they're like incredible and enthusiastic and give so much. So I'm so happy. People from Montreal, you are really the world that makes it so special. So big ups to you, big ups to Eagle Fest, big ups Montreal. What a crazy festival. I can't believe there's a festival where you just go wearing all of your clothes and multiple layers. My beer was frozen. What the heck? Someone said something to me, they said, this is the only festival in which we put the beers in the fridge to keep them from freezing. <laughs>